What's going on guys? Welcome back to another home tour here in Dallas-Fort Worth. I'm Zach Searsway. And I'm Laura Kratchich and we are your Dallas-Fort Worth Realtors. Guys, if you are new to the channel, welcome. We film the hottest communities all over the Dallas Metroplex so you get a first-hand look at all the newest neighborhoods that are up and coming. We don't hold any information back so you guys get the most value out of our videos. All we ask is that in return, if you can consider using us for your Dallas move or sharing this content with someone else who may be moving to Dallas and may need our help. Today we are hanging out with David Weekly in the Harvest community in North Lake, Texas. These homes start at a great price, y'all, and we're going to be sharing all of the information on the builder and all of the floor plans and pricing at the end of the video, so make sure you guys stay tuned. And here we are inside the home. Yep, so we took a left turn as soon as we came in, and now we are in the full bathroom that is beautiful. We've got the black cabinetry, white scorch countertop, and some polka dots over there in the shower space accent. to separate the tile. I love that accent, that is amazing. Yeah, it's kind of adorable. It's so funny that they <laughs> did that. And then over to the right side is usually where you would have your garage space, but they're using that currently as an office space in this floor plan. This is a two-story floor plan, y'all, by the way, and it is their most popular floor plan, so we're super happy to be showing you this model. Yes, and what's also really popular is this huge office space that's over to the left side as you enter the house. Guys, I know a lot of people are in work from home or hybrid situations where you maybe do use, be using your office or desk space a little bit more commonly and so with this model and floor plan they kept that in mind so if you need a big office for two people there you have it yes i love it and then you have a powder bath here perfect for visitors so they're not using that guest bath that we saw at the beginning of the video and then you have your mudroom and your utility that is going to be basically connected to your garage space like how we had mentioned earlier on that side of the home whenever you're looking at it mm -hmm. i love the mudroom it's so pretty yeah i love bumblebees I know, right? I love the accent colors that they're using in this house. The Langford plan, guys, which is the plan that this is, it's a very, very open concept floor plan. So as you see here, it's one of the more affordable um, builders as far as David Weekly goes. And even with that, people that want to build under the price point of $750,000 or even $700,000 get to be in this open floor plan with this amazing kitchen and the living room actually uh, boasts 20 foot ceiling. So you'll see that here in just a second. It's so beautiful. So many clients reach out to us for this home specifically. Mm -hmm. So I will say the one drawback to this floor plan is that you do have a smaller pantry as you can see here. So some people like it, some people don't like it, but that is the pantry that you get and they cannot make it any bigger for you. I love the stairs here. Mm -hmm. It's like whenever you have your daughter walking down the stairs in her long prom dress, y'all, or a wedding dress or what have you. I, so this is, the, there's a reason that this is the most picked floor plan um, because of the tall ceilings, the open concept. There's just so much natural light coming in and so many people prefer to have that in their home. I love the way that this light is hitting this living room right now. Yeah. And as we turn around here, we're gonna see the entire floor of the house from the staircase looking up from the living room. You've got the formal dining space or breakfast nook really right over here, right next to the backyard. And if you love an open concept, and you love that tall ceiling elevation, then this plan by David Weekly is going to be the one for you. So beautiful. Yeah. I love it. I love the staircase. The the light, even the light fixtures that they chose is perfect for this plan. Yeah, they knew what they were doing with this one for sure. Now we're floating here into your primary suite and I love this accent wall with the wood that they used here. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Super different than any other homes that we've seen, really. Yeah, love that farmhouse light fixtures with the beam carrying across that vaulted ceilings. Mm -hmm. And as we go to the bathroom, I wanna take this opportunity. Well, first, oh, the hexagon tile again. Yes. The hexagon tile on the floor is my favorite and I can't go without mentioning that because that is a feature that sells the home for me. 
there's whenever you're in this bathroom it feels so spacious so big so grand there's so much space for you to just walk and hang out in the bathroom and a lot of people love this floor plan because of this i love the tile that they used here the color separation too. in it, the shower they're both neutrals mm -hmm. but especially with the theme that they have going on with the color in the kitchen i think neutrals are the way to go and then having that standalone tub that we saw earlier is aesthetic y'all yes <laughs> chef's kiss people you know i've never had a freestanding like standalone tub but me either i barely even have a shower in my in my private <laughs> you got like a little tiny tiny, tiny, tiny closet about 1963 home <laughs> um but i love the vanity here so how you see like that gray with the gold hardware mm -hmm. that's very rare it's usually white with gold hardware black with gold hardware but they did like that light grayish with the green undertone with the gold hardware oh, yes i love it greens and houses have been selling it for yes. me yes these sage greens yes. it's like lighter pastel greens mm -hmm. so seamless and navy blue it. like they did in this kitchen too yeah I I love the navy blue more than I love the green. I like I the fact that builders are now adding in pops of color to their home, so that because that like the models are memorable one, yeah. and people design homes that don't just have like all these boring neutrals in them. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong, neutrals are great, but come on, add a little bit of flair, right? Yeah, yeah. So where are we at? The media room. Media room, which is the first room Big. as you come upstairs. <laughs> wow, <laughs> look at this space. Yeah. You've got the uh, the bumblebee yellow, as you call it, and then you've got the green, you got a little bit of the accent blue, so they all ties together in that media space with no windows, right? Yeah, no windows. Media rooms and no windows. Wow. I know where it's at. I love that view. That view with the so tall cool. ceilings, come on now. Yeah, so the, the view from the living room up and the view from the staircase down, spectacular. Mm -hmm. I love this game room space that they made. I love the desk, like, I think that's a built in, honestly. I'm not 100% sure, but that's a perfect space. You can make the space however you wish to make it. You can make it another living space, you can make it a homework space, kind of like how they did. Whatever you want to do with it, you can do with it. Yes, and the opportunity that I wanted to take to tell you guys about the area while we were in the primary bath, I can do it now since we're coasting through secondaries. Just enjoy the rest of this um, home tour upstairs. But guys, North Lake, Texas is a very, very prominent area north of Fort Worth, about 30 minutes, and it's about 40 to 45 minutes away from Dallas uh, going northwest. So the reason why people love this area and this community in particular, it is a master plan community. We're in North Lake, Texas, and we're in Pecan Square, which there are a ton of builders here, including David Weekly, and they're all at very similar price points, coasting anywhere between the mid fives all the way to the eights, and even a little bit north of that, right, for the bigger floor plans. But if you are looking north of Fort Worth and you're looking for a savvy investment and a really good home purchase with a lot of land and a lot of space in your backyard and a thriving community, look no further, Pecan Square is going to be the best community north of Fort Worth. Yep. And as you just mentioned, you're going to get a pretty good sized yard with these homes, which you don't really see all over the DFW Metroplex with new, new construction homes. So just keep that in mind. You do get a good lot size here. And that is something that is important to a lot of our buyers, I will say. Yeah. Everybody wants some kind of yard space, so you can definitely get it in this community with David Weekly Homes. And here we are at the end of the video. So we're going to go ahead and close out this builder, David Weekly Homes, in the Harvest community in North Lake, Texas starts at a price of about $570,000, y'all. So it's an amazing price point. Factor in another fifty dollars to $100,000 in upgrades if you do decide to build from dirt. They do have quick move in homes available as well, closer to the $750,000 mark. And with that being said, y'all, I'm Laura Kracic. And I'm Zach Searsway, and you're down... <laughs> And I'm working your Dallas forward with the realtors. Guys, if you got value out of this video and if you enjoyed the tour, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another one of our videos. And with that said, thank you so much for watching. We will catch you guys in about a week. Peace.